Here we go. People are already dead. The fuck? See your hand on your face. Ah, oh, what the fuck? You're gonna show your face here? After all you've done?
damn it. Everything they've got, they stole from us. Wow, it seriously didn't blow up. You must be that was good. So I'm not grabbable. This is. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I wonder if I could pick up the grenade. It's in his chest. Or maybe I can't.
tough word for you tourists. Ah. God damn it. Oh shit. Going up. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit. Ah.
today. Find your piece of shit.
have arrived. Finally. I always pictured you taller. Better looking. You greet all your guests with such terrible manners? Only honored guests. Sunrise is beautiful from up here. I never miss one. Looks ugly to me. Thanks to what you unleashed down there. You just lack the ability to appreciate my vision. Like so many others. Today was supposed to be a celebration. But it has turned into a day of reckoning. No argument from me. You think I'm a monster, don't you? That I enjoy this carnage and misery? Nothing could be further from the truth. I agonized over what had to be done this time. The destruction of my beloved city. I take zero pleasure in it. But I am curious. Through the eyes of a legendary lone wolf, why do you think I would even consider such a course of action? You're afraid. Afraid of the alternatives. Yes. I was just like everyone else, tourist. I believed the reserve was salvation. But fate had other plans. When you uncovered that empty hole in the ground, I had to pivot. I spent weeks crunching the numbers. Only one thing became clear. Without a culling, starvation and disease would overtake us all in a matter of months. I had a choice to make. Allow fate to run its chaotic course once again and surrender the entire city to the dead. Or defy fate, take matters into my own hands, and save a precious few by slaughtering the many. I chose defiance. What you chose was mass murder. I chose the future. The tower as an art for those with the metal to rebuild a new world. Turning my back on so many people I loved in favor of pure survival. Can you even comprehend how difficult that is? But none of it matters now, does it? The bells ring. The plan is set in motion, but my victory is hollow. Treachery is everywhere, and I am alone. Where did I go wrong? Tell me. plan is fucked up, regardless of what your numbers say. The plan is sound, Torres. You know this to be true. Every second that passes without a reset plunges this city further into irreversible doom. No, the plan is not the problem here. It was the treachery. Surrounded by traitors. Never knowing when the knife will plunge into your back. Feeling paranoid? They got pills for that, you know. There is no cure for what ails me, Tourette. I've come to accept that. The roots of treachery have dug their way deep into my story. Choking the life out of me from within. The bodies around the table inside? They were not the first to betray me. One of them poisoned this drink. Their mind corrupted by some movement within my lower ranks. The assassin would not reveal himself, of course. So my hand was forced. Garrick and May? I considered them family. But their ambition outweighed their loyalty. I learned they were plotting to murder me in my sleep, tourist. Simply because we didn't see eye to eye on how to manage the tower population. Fool, I spared them. 
Thought they would come to their senses outside the tower walls, on the run and alone. <sighs> was wrong. And then there was JB, my right hand. There were warning signs early on that the pressure was getting to him. That he was on the verge of snapping. But I dismissed them. I loved him like my own son. Protected him when others called for his head. And how did he repay my loyalty? He tried to burn me alive and started a war over ideology. Every decision I have made has been in the service of other people, tourist. With the target on my back the entire time. Head on the block, waiting for the plane to drop. Fear rot your brain. Great leaders inspire loyalty in their people, and they keep it. But I could not. Look out over our glorious city, tourist. Tell me, what do you see? I see death. After death, there is new life, tourist. If you give it the means to flourish, this is the key to the city's future. It unlocks a control panel behind you. There is a button that will turn off the lights, and without the lights, the bells will fall silent. But heed my words, Doris. Letting the bells ring is an act of mercy. The slate will be wiped clean, and only those with the fortitude necessary to preserve humanity will remain and rebuild. They will thrive. But if you silence the bells, you will only prolong the suffering for all. The fate of this city will be sealed. The dead will prevail. I've made my choice. I have paid the price for it. Now, it is time for you to make yours. Welcome to Hell, tourist. Well, tourist, looks like you chose to raise the city up on your shoulders instead of raising it to the ground. I guess you could say I'm a bit surprised. Didn't take you for an optimist. But Nola ain't out of the woods just yet. Mama may be gone, but the darkness she embraced didn't start or end with her. It's still out there, tourist. 
deep in the souls of the living, biding its time. Now, of course, there's light out there, too, that spark of humanity. And with a dash of hope, that spark will grow into a rage in the fire and spread to every corner of this new world. All thanks to you, tourist. <laughs>